Welcome back to EKG. Mm, back here today, starting mm, off Marvel back here. Spider-Man. Mm, Marvel Spider-Man. Mm, Marvel. All right, yeah. This fucking looks. <laughs> this game looks. Should we just play the one I've been playing? <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm here. My also, name yeah, Paul, yeah, oh, Paul's, Paul's here. here. Yeah, My Paul's name's Paul. Me. I joined on because I like Spider-Man. <laughs> yep, that's about pretty much the extent of it. I hate Spider-Man. That's why I have the Venom symbol tattooed on my forearm. Oh, yeah, right. It's well, probably like your least favorite superhero. Well, I mean, Venom doesn't really hate Spider-Man. Uh, that's literally the whole point of his character. Well, I mean, first. I mean, I mean, not at first. He doesn't. He wants to be part of him. He no. wants to be Spider-Man. He's first least... off, Venom is the combination of Eddie Brock and the symbiote, in my opinion. Well, or... he starts out on Spider-Man. I. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> I just have the symbiote tattoo. Cause I... <laughs> well, I'm not saying you didn't know it. I'm just saying that he, if he starts out in Spider-Man, that was his first choice. Oh, yeah. That but was I'm the saying, first like, girl Venom, the, the, char the character Venom, not the symbiote, not like the character Venom, Eddie Brock and the symbiote, hate Spider-Man. Spider-Man has to fake his death to get away from him at first. Well, I'm just saying at first. It was his first love. I'm saying at first fucking Venom hates Spider-Man. How happy are you that uh, Venom got a PG-13 rating? How happy am I that that movie already looks like shit? It's oh, going to yeah. be awful. We all knew that. <clears throat> I'm so... Like a turd in the wind. Who is that? <laughs> I think that was his parents. So. Oh. And then there's... Yeah, they, they went with, like, the not super old, but not young Melf, Milf uh, Aunt May oh. in this game. Well, I don't think Milf Aunt May is super established. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's only in the Marvel yeah. Yeah. Like, universe. Like, yeah, like, what what if movie I'm not complaining. What if we just thought oh, no, like the Rizzo hottest Tomei 50 is. year old we can find? <laughs> Rizzo Tomei is one fine woman. Energy Dar. <laughs> Are there actually bars just called energy bars? Or do they have to have a fancy <laughs> name? No, that's my favorite brand. Yeah. Energy? Yeah. Or energy bar. How would you hang those up in a fucking. Like, how would he hang those up? Right. Does, does anyone actually hang up newspaper clippings? Well, no, no. no. I'm not saying like he's got like brick wall. How? What are these <laughs> things sticking to? Good point. Is it like a bulletin board? It, it's yeah, it, but it's, how is it hanging up to a fucking brick wall? It's that brick wallpaper. It's cheap. <laughs> Couldn't. Well, he could just use his webs. They did. They dissolve after a certain amount of time. Oh. Uh, well, and not these backpack ones you're about to see. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Josh sent me some video of this scene that it, I think the guy was playing in like Germany or something, but his game was like completely broken, and it was just like a blob of arms and legs like floating <laughs> around the room. Ew! He's webbed the toes to himself. That's disgusting. That's right? actually, that actually is gross. <laughs> that's super fucking gross. I don't know if that's good for. Hey, you. he's wearing the old costume. I like that. Yeah. Or you start out in this one. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. This is like literally the first costume he's ever worn. The Ditko one. Yeah. You start out Pay classic. your bills. Why does he have like... He already has like a, a fucking system in his suit. Yeah, he, this, yeah. he's like established as Spider-Man for a while by the okay. time you start this. Like he's, yeah, in, like he's in college. Yeah. Does no, no I think one it's, it's post-college. Oh, does anyone post see, no one see him fucking jump out that window? Right. You're just like, saying, if, oh. if I'm Spider-Man, I don't know if I'm leaving out, like, all my Spider-Man paraphernalia and, like, just Spider-Man shit all over my apartment. Yeah. It's like, one person takes a peek in that room. It's like, uh, what is this? Oh, my God. This looks fucking dope. Yep. I, mm, is it always R2 this way? I can do both. Uh, what do you mean? Well, the X like, is just to like push you forward to get momentum. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying like I was saying this L2 swing your left hand. No, the L2 is like to aim. Well, you don't need. To, I mean, who cares if you're swinging with your right or left hand? Me. <laughs> I think in Ultimate Spider-Man you can do that. It's fucking sick. Just like right click, left click, left click, right click. So you can't web off nonsense in this game. Like you no. have to web no. off something. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's not like the first Spider-Man game where you just web the clouds. <laughs> well, in the first Spider-Man game, you couldn't even land on the ground. Yeah, that's true. That was nonsense. Oh, you're what leaving you the mission here. Please head back. What? It says this way. You're leaving the mission, bro. <laughs> oh. No, I definitely wasn't. We gotta go Through deal with arch. Will. Yeah, everyone's like, what Willy. the fuck? Was that Spider-Man over there? <laughs> um. So you open this game up against like one of my like favorite villains in the game, which is a little bit disappointing for me, but like, it's, yeah. uh, at least he gets a spotlight, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say, Paul, don't, don't at least he's it. here. Let's play at this point, he definitely does. He has not come back at all. Aww. So by the way, if you're wondering, those like little like dots that kind of show you where you can web would actually be kind of how it works. Because like when he's webbing around, the reason he doesn't like fall to his death is because of his spider sense. 
Oh, it, it, so it's uh, what well, is part of it is suit too. His suit just like outlines where it's at. Well, his suit no. hasn't always been like a Tony Stark suit. That's yeah, no, it yeah, yeah. to just be like a thing. No, it's his spider sense. It's like basically if he would go to like to put his arm in a direction that would like kill him. Yeah, is like it would like go off, so he just kind of adjusts, and after a while, that would just kind of become second nature. Oh, right. Okay, like I could never see Spider-Man like fucking up an acrobatic. Well, he can, well, that's, that's he can see in the right. exactly. That's the spider sense, yeah, and that's powers. that's why just being able to web around like Spider-Man would be super fucking dangerous. Yeah. Well, because he can see like slow motion, right? Well, that's it's not really slow. Well, he's got super great reflexes, so kind of yes, but yeah. also the spider sense. It's like, it's basically like a perfect reflex, perfect reaction type thing. Yeah. So it's if you're if you're gonna show it in, like in a movie, you'd probably put it in slow mo. Yeah. Just to, like, well, that's how I did it in the in the Tobey Maguire one and right. the and, and the fucking Andrew Garfield ones, which. He kind of looks like Andrew Garfield in this game, I think. Yeah, he does. Yeah, which is that's why my problem with Andrew Garfield movies is like the like the Amazing Spider-Man movies is. They should have just made him older. Like, he, why was Andrew Garfield exactly. playing a high yeah. schooler? Yeah. And that would have been fine. Like, I would have relished an older Peter Parker movie. Yeah, yeah and it's like it's something, an area that hasn't been fucking covered yet. Right. It would have been sick. And Andrew Garfield played a good, like, Spider-Man. I mean, granted, did Tobey Maguire look like a high schooler? No. <laughs> no. I don't like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man at all, and I don't get people's infatuation with him. Yeah. Well, let's, again, he was the, the first, first movie was good. The, the, the second I wasn't, movie was great. I wasn't like blown away by his performance. But, but it, like, at least he did it. a really good job nailing, like, because in the comics, like Peter Parker's a known jazz dancer. <laughs> so like, I'm really glad they nailed that. Like, dig on this, <laughs> yeah. right? Hey, what, what is it? Hey, like, hey, hot legs, find us some shade. <laughs> hey, hot legs. That's me and Paul fucking <laughs> just watch those clips one night, and we were fucking dying hot legs hot legs find us some shade and he like slips her at 20 and the fucking actress has to sit there and look like she likes it she's like Ooh. <laughs> and there's people who try to defend that scene where it's like no he's supposed to be ridiculous because he's like affected by the venom i'm like no he's not supposed to be ridiculous everyone in that club is snapping their fingers and they're like "Ooh, yeah Ooh, groovy groovy yeah <laughs> nothing is better than that that scene without the music <laughs> Okay, and like, if that's what they think the symbiote does, then it's like, no. It just makes it's, you a giant douche. Or just wait till you see the symbiote homeworld. All they're doing is finding shade and digging on hot legs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was Venom's okay, real motivation oh, in the comics, guys. Happening? I mean, I know they change his origin like every other year, so that could have been one of them. <laughs> yeah, his original origin was he just wanted to find some shade. He wanted some hot legs to help him find some shade. Hey, Times Square. Oh. I am glad that Tom Holland's Spider-Man didn't really go to Times Square, because like, We've seen Spider-Man fucking, you know, web around yeah, this guy. And, and he won't in the sequel either because he's going to be in Europe. Yeah, so then when he finally does, it's going to be like a thing. Yeah, when he was up on the Washington Monument in the movie, he was like, like he was scared of heights. It's like, oh, you'll learn. <laughs> I, I don't get how we're going to, like, see him web sling through, like, rural, like, Germany. Like, what is he going to web to? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, Spider-Man only works in, like, New York City or, like, Chicago. Is it just going to be rural Germany? I don't know where it's because, just, because there are, there are big Europe. cities in Germany. Okay. Yeah, but I mean nothing like New York. What is yeah, that? There is Hamburg or what is it? Uh, what's their capital? Is this like National Everyone Go Shoot People Day? I this guess. The second big shooting. But like, I get that they have like skyscrapers, but like even web slinging through Milwaukee wouldn't be the same. No. Because like it's like it doesn't have the verticality that New York has. I mean, the thing is, he doesn't need to go, like, 400 feet in the air. I guess yeah. you're right. I think Milwaukee would still be fine. Like, any big city. But granted, it'd just be more fun. Oh, yeah. Fisk Tower. That's right. Fisk me daddy. Yeah, there's, there's, they do a really good job of, like, connected Marvel Universe and strikes in this game. Like, I'll point out some of them whenever I see them. There's yeah. a lot. It's awesome. Fisk is cool. Yeah, there's a lot of Daredevil stuff. Like, yeah, just to give you a small example, like, there's these backpacks you find with little, like, mostly it's stupid shit. I was going to say... And one of them you find like a, uh, um, like a Murdoch and Nelson like uh, nice. card like for their law offices. Nice. So there's like a lot of cool connected stuff like you that. You might just web that guy to the fucking ground. Like you can you can yeah really you can web people to walls too. Yeah, that, that's a really easy way to defeat people sometimes too. Oh my god. Yep. Jesus, that man might be dead. Yeah, <laughs> you can literally like throw motorcycles at people. It's like okay, he'd be dead. Yeah. But no, I don't kill. And like you can throw them off buildings, and like he, he'll web them. So okay, like those guys look like they were straight out of a PS2 game. <laughs> <laughs> like just from how far away they were, that looked really bad. But like you can throw people off buildings, and you'll web them. So like they'll attach to the building on their way down. So I guess technically but, they're saying they would die. But, but here's the question: Who gets them down before the web dissolves? Because I think it's like a what it like and. Uh, Tom Holland's Spider-Man said like it dissolves in a certain amount of time. Like, right. It does dissolve. I, that's yeah. actually a canonical thing. 
That's why he always hangs them up in places like that, so then the cops will come find them, and then, like, ever end them, and then the webs will eventually dissolve. Just have some, like, D-list hero go grab them later. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, hey, Speedball, this on you, buddy. Like, God damn it. <laughs> who the fuck is Speedball? He's the one who, like, explodes in Civil War and then becomes Penance. And, like, blows up the school. He's, he's supposed to be lame. Was he, like, a Columbine shooter? I mean, no, he, he, he explodes like fighting another villain. He's not trying to kill the kids. Oh, I was going to say, like school shooter super villain? Yeah, no, they didn't go that That way. would be quite edgy. Right, that's, that's, uh, they haven't done that oh story yet. <laughs> that's DC, I was gonna say. that's the DC Cinematic Universe. Yeah, I can see that. Ben Affleck fighting some school shooter. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that it's just him. <laughs> He's the school shooter. God, so so Ben Affleck's not going to be in those movies and Henry Cable, it's over. Yeah, Henry, yeah, I, I, here's what I hope. They stop making those fucking movies, and in 10 years, they reboot it, and someone who actually likes Superman makes a Superman movie to right. start it all off. Instead of Zack yeah. Snyder, who does not care. He's like, yeah. let's make my first movie like an Elseworlds Frank Miller story. Like, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> yeah, let's make Superman, like, dark and make him all, like, mad and gritty. There's some cool moments, and Henry Cavill was such a good casting. Well, if we're gonna go that route, let's just go full Frank Miller. Let's turn every woman into a prostitute crack whore. <laughs> no, here's the thing. If we were gonna go that route, then go the injustice route. Do it. I see even that I would hate, but... But it's better than this half-assed, there's, like... there's a lot more source material to work with, then, instead of just, like, one, like, okay Frank Miller story. Yeah, it's like... like not, not even a top five Frank Miller book, in my opinion. Like, that, the last scene is good. The whole book is not. <laughs> what book? Uh, Dark Knight Returns. Oh, yeah. You bitch. Because it's, it's mostly just Frank Miller being Frank Miller. Yeah. I like the movie adaptation of it, not the live action. The animated one? Yeah, the animated I seen one. It, yeah. Oh, it's actually really good. There's some really cool moments. But yeah, no, fucking Catwoman's like an old prostitute. Yeah, it's like, 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 hey, Catwoman in her origin was a whore. I'm like, when? <laughs> like, Frank Miller, leave it to you. And like, his, his most iconic Daredevil story is like, Karen Page, like, becoming a drug addict and selling out Daredevil. I'm like, come on. <laughs> Frank Miller does not like women. No. He just doesn't. I don't know what it is. I don't know who hurt him. Well, he's but. just like an old racist, so it's not really that surprising. And then there's fucking, uh, what's his name? Alan Moore, who's just a crazy person. Well, have you ever heard of Frank Miller's, like, um, Holy Terror book? No. It was a book he... It was a, it's basically a book he wanted to write after 9-11 about killing Middle Eastern people. But oh my the, God. And he ended up making it. It's like a sh really shitty independent book with classic, like, bad Frank Miller art. <laughs> okay, oh, example number one. Who's going to find this guy in this fact? <laughs> he's literally going to become a skeleton. Oh, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> or then, it's gonna dissolve and then he's gonna have to just find his way out of this vent. Yeah. And get this, he pitched Holy Terror to DC as a Batman book. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, we're just gonna have Batman going around like killing Middle Eastern people. Cause he's mad. Oh my god. Like, okay, Frank Miller, this is Bruce Wayne, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. I, I don't like Frank Miller's crazy, but is he crazier than Alan Moore? Well, at least yeah, no, he's worse than Alan Moore. Alan well, like worse, but is he crazier? Um, have yes. you heard Alan? No, Alan Moore's like we are all one consciousness with the blah blah blah. And he, like he's fucking. Alan Moore's lost his fucking. Mind. I guess. No, he's <laughs> and he look. He looks exactly. I'll, I'll just give Alan Moore oh. a little more credit. See, there's Wilson. See, the they did a really. He looks yeah. perfect in this. He doesn't have the cane though, which makes me mad. But the cane does make an appearance. Oh, yeah, it's got they, the purple they do tie that. Oh. True, but that's part of my charm, isn't it? Download complete. Dude, you shouldn't just leave your files sitting out. <laughs> right. Just throw it on a flash drive. That's like a big superhero trope that I don't like. What? Like in Watchmen, they just sit down at Osmandius' computer and guess his password and take all the files. I'm like, this is so stupid. <laughs> Anytime a hero like needs to go on the computer to hack files, I'm like, you don't have that like encrypted or like a password? <laughs> nah. I mean, Osmandius was so vain that he had to make the fucking password, whatever. It, it, it was Ramses 2. No, also, no numbers, also, no symbols. Also, it was like the 80s. You think they're going to have like really good fucking... He's supposed to be the smartest person on Earth. Yes. It was the 80s. Oh, they didn't know how to fucking do that yet. Like, put a fucking, like, exclamation point or a number in there. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, switch out one of the fucking... What was it again? What was the... Ramsey's 2. Make the A and at symbol. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> God. This is gonna be Lucas and Paul talking about comics while... I was gonna Eric say... <laughs> I've, I've just been letting you guys go, man. Yeah. It's, go for it. Yeah, well, Eric just fucking... I'm, I'm out of my depth on this one. Yeah, you're just... It's like... You've read Watchmen. What are you talking about? 
Well, no, I, I before, uh, before all, all the, like the Batman shit and Superman. Oh yeah. Oh right. Frank Miller and Alan Moore. Wait, where am I going? There's some good Frank Miller stuff, but God, he's a fucking old racist. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, man. I, it's not a lot of Frank Miller stuff. I like. I'm just like. Well, Daredevil is fantastic. Oh yeah, but I mean, yeah. but but, but it's, even, it's even still, it's like the third best Daredevil run. So. Oh, here we go. The, the guy we met who wrote the Deathstroke shit, I really liked. Uh, oh, Christopher name? Priest? Oh, yeah. Christopher Priest. That guy was a yeah, we fucking met him at that uh, um, C2E2, C2E2 yeah. 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 And he was fucking cool. He actually told us his favorite story he wrote was the Spider-Man story, which I have to look up. Yeah, it was like something with Wolverine. Spider-Man right? versus Wolverine. Yeah. yeah well, like, he was I, still under his name, J uh, James Owsley. Because like we asked, basically, I would go up to every... his name? Yeah, he did. I'd go up That's to every badass. person we met, like every uh, comic book writer, and I'd be like, what are your like three favorite like things you worked Clear, on? Move up. And yeah, he said like he said the Deathstroke hey thing guys, was a lot of fun. I guess bombs. Wait, Deathstroke is like what made him. I guess yeah. I guess Black. He Panther said like made that, and then he said like a Green Lantern thing. Oh, yeah, I I haven't read it. And then like the Spider-Man vs. Wolverine thing. Yeah, which I really want to read. I mean, yeah, I feel it, like that'd be it, Spider-Man. It's only just... like an arc, so you could read yeah. it quick. It's yeah. on Marvel Unlimited. Oh nice. I feel like that'd be like Spider-Man just trying to like survive. Yeah. Because I don't know how Spider-Man puts Wolverine down. Well, and I have a. I guess I need to see why they're fighting, but I doubt yeah. it'd be a fight to the death. Yeah. I mean, they're friends. <laughs> yeah, they both be, like redheads. Like, they're both Avengers. Like, come and on. they both like the bone redheads. Yes, that's true. And they both like the bone redheads. <laughs> you guys know that they both bone redheads? No. Okay, are we really doing, are we doing this scene? Does me, yeah. Uh, are we yeah. blowing our load on this, this scene already? Really? We're already doing the... Mash square harder! <laughs> Yeah, and what's nice about this game is they let you turn off the quick time events, which I did in a second. <laughs> I, I immediately turned those off. What does it become when you turn them off? It just, it's just a cutscene then. Oh. Because I don't like having to like guard my controller while I'm watching a cutscene. I'm like, yeah. can I take a bite of pizza? <laughs> can I? <laughs> nope. You do it, Spider-Man. It's just like, Whoa! oh my god. Is that one fucking old Spider-Man game where if you fail the quick time events, the one's just like, I'm get, like, we're gonna die, and then it fucking explodes. <laughs> it's one of my favorite old videos ever. Spider-Man just fucking lands in the room, but he just like, on his fucking face. Are we about to fight Willy? Oh, but wait, maybe we should uh, do this a little next time. Oh, we're getting that yeah. Willy wet next time.